my name is Colin Zamadi. Um, we fabricate fish drying ovens. We're in Lagos. Our office address is uh, Snake Cafe Restaurant. Command, Command at Jasan Road, it will be in Boston. You can come in through a plague bar. That's where we are. Uh, this is our warehouse uh, where we fabricate our ovens right now. So I want to do um, I want to do a display for you. For um, this is 100 capacity. This is four feet tall by three feet wide by two feet breadth. Um, formerly our ovens don't come with tires, but right now they come with wheels. This is galvanized sheet. We're giving you one year warranty on the sheet not to rust. Um, Comes with temperature gauge, the same design. These are all the same design, including the um, 500 capacity, 200 capacity, 100 capacity. They all come with the same design, just different sizes. Um, this one comes with four racks. Um, all the racks are removable. You can see that double padded on all sides. Comes with oil collector. For those who have been asking, how how do you uh, deal with convention, natural convention? Um, the truth is, this is, this is dual power, just so you know, it's gas and charcoal powered. Your fire doesn't get directly to your fish. This thing here serves like, please come closer. This thing here serves like an um, oil collector. It doubles also as a hot plate, which means your fire doesn't get directly to your fish. This circulates to your heat all around your oven. It has a funnel too, where you pass your, um, where the uh, oil passes through when it's draining from the fish. It's all padded, double padded on all sides. Dual pad, like I said, this is where you connect. This is your regulator. This is where you connect your cylinder to. This doesn't come with your oven. This doesn't come with your oven. And this also doesn't come with your oven. This is industrial control. And it's very, very important that you have this. It's not like, um, because this is an industrial oven. It's not like um, the type you use in cooking at home. This is um, industrial oven. So you need um, an industrial control. If you use normal, um, the control that you use for your house it's not going to power this oven let me show you the, the charcoal compartment this is the charcoal compartment it has a chimney too this is the charcoal compartment if you're using charcoal and you don't want to use gas you load you put your charcoal here you uh, light it up and fire it up then once it's red hot you slide in and then your oven is working um this is the temperature gauge that makes it um, that you use to regulate the amount of heat that is inside your oven. This is a smaller capacity and it's uh, 180,000. It's fixed. Uh, 200 capacity is 290. 100, uh, 500 is 390. This is for governor and not for stainless. Stainless of this is much more expensive. Just so you want it. Um, I've told you where our address is. Uh, you can also reach us on 080-731-22596. We're on WhatsApp too on that same number. And you can also send me an email on afrocatalyst at gmail.com. A F R O C A T A L Y S T at gmail.com. Um, all you have to do is to do 70% uh, of the payment. And then after four days, the oven will be ready. When you come to carry it, we'll destroy your oven for you. Then you balance us um, the 30%. Very soon, obviously, this is our factory. Very soon, we'll start um, um, uh, uh, bringing out these ovens in mass. So you just come and do cash and carry, but for now, we might not have that um, um, that opportunity to do that right now. But we are here. You can come down to where, where we are. We deliver to any part of Nigeria: Meduguri, Port Lagos, Ugu State, Anambra, anywhere Abuja, Worry, any part of Nigeria you want your oven delivered. As long as there is transportation, just know that the price we give to you is exclusive of delivery. But we can also help you deliver your, these ovens down to any part of the world, uh, any part of the country you want, even outside Nigeria. Yes, even outside Nigeria, we can send these ovens. They are very portable, they are mobile, they, they can roll um, because of the tires. It, it can stay inside, it can stay outside. If you have a kitchen, if you have an indoor place where you can put it, you can put them there. If you want it to be um, yeah, outside, you can outside. The rain doesn't affect it. Um, uh, let me show you how um, the gas um, works. Um, please let's power this oven up. Please help me light up this. Open up that place. So open up this. Uh, next thing is you move your, your, you your shampoo chamber. You can hear that sound. The gas is already out. It's coming out. Then you light up from behind or from front anyway. So you see how um, the light comes up.
you can see that that's the fire that sits up there you can see it then from here you regulate you regulate you reduce this way you reduce the heat uh, you can see that this fire is not that this is the last place your fish will be it's not coming directly to your fish it's first of all getting to this hot plate so this hot plate distributes it to your fish and you can see there are spaces in between the racks which allows for natural convention assuming your oven is filled up to the uh, maximum capacity this is where you this is where your heat travels from and it gets to this place there is even distribution of heat on this oven um just just so you know uh, you should have if you're using this oven you should have a baker's glove because midway into drying you should be able to rotate your racks move these ones down and then these ones up midway and when you're doing that you don't do that with your bare hands you do that with um, your baker's glove then you lock up again and then continue drying your fish will come out nice we have a video uh, where you can learn how to brine your fish to get the best taste we actually did that if you check if you subscribe to our channel please do if you've never done that so you can get updated not only this we also do snail farm setups you can subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our new videos you will see the tutorials we've done on how to get your best taste People complain and they say, ah, come on, Mr. Collins, the fish should dry with uh, charcoal, has more uh, better taste. Well, what do I have to say than, than just to let you know that what you're eating is not actually the taste of the fish, it's the carbon content in the fish. Uh, the, the soot from the carbon is what you're eating and uh, that is what you're tasting and you're thinking, is, no, 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 that, that's wrong. Uh, medically, uh, it's, it's cancerous. Uh, you can, the best way is to use gas. If you want, even if you want to use uh, coal, this is the best system and not in the, those drum ways that uh, 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 we've been doing it before in the past. Um, if, you, if you go through our videos, you'll see how we um, did our fish processing so you can get the best thing. There's the way you mix your, mix your liquor. You, know, you should know how to kill your fish by now. You don't kill your fish directly. You kill with salt because salt does two things. It helps move the slime from the body, makes it easy for you to wash, and it also helps kill the fish. That's two purposes that it does. There's a video to that effect. Then you cut your fish open, move the intestines, wash them very well, make a solution with those things that we've labeled for you on that video. Please try and check out that video so you can wash it. Wash the, uh, 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 make the solution. Then you soak the fish inside that solution for at least 30 minutes. Then from there you move to your oven. And I bet you, no one who eats that fish who will call you back for more of your fishes. This is the machine you need. This is the equipment you need. It can be used for so many things. If you, you can, you can also just, this can be converted to for um, uh, baking uh, breads, baking cake and stuff like that. All you need to do is to remove these rags and then put in trays. That's all you need. This, this, you can, this, can, this can double up as a multi-purpose oven too. You can use it to bake meat pie. You can use it to do uh, um, uh, kilishi, dried meat, fish, chicken, uh, mangala fish, different kinds of things. You can even use it to dry your tomatoes, dry your fruits. All you need to do is to change the, um, the system inside that, the rack. By changing this rack and putting it in, um, generally you've converted it to um, a baking oven. Uh, or um, a drying um, oven, but for now it's serving as a fish drying oven because of the racks. Because you need the liquid, you need the oil to drain from the fish down to your oil collector, so your fish will be properly dried. We hope to hear from you. We hope you will call us very soon. Don't forget our number is 080-731-22596, and we are here in Lagos. We open every day, seven days a week. Thank you very much.